Are you sitting comfortably? Then I will begin. So what I'd like to talk about is five words that um, Londoners use that might not be obvious to people from anywhere else. I'm from the north of England myself and I found it quite difficult to understand the particular di how these words worked in the London dialect. Um, give it about two minutes each word, let's say. First of all, uh, the iconic one that you'll hear quite often is in it. And in it is like you terminate a sentence with it. So the sky is blue, in it. And, um, well, I took my mouth out to the hospital this morning and she croaked, in it. And it's that kind of a. It's a spacer, but it's also a validation of the communication. It's. I, it's something that you can slip in anywhere, in it, and it just I helps the flow of the dialogue, in it. So next one. Can't. Can't. Now, if you look it up in the dictionary, can't. You'll get meanings like I don't know uh, something disingenuous or. Um, some kind of hip hypocri hypocrisy for Kant. Um, oh, there's there's also the meaning of Kant being a kind of jargon or argot, argot kind of language like so. But that's not the the way Londoners use it. When when um, a Londoner uses the word Kant to you. It, 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 it can mean one of two things. It's either a signature of approval and friendship. Right, you can. Right, you can. And all is good. Uh, it can also mean something uh, quite more sinister, I suppose. Uh, when, uh, if you encounter a situation in here, Fucking give me your wallet, can That's probably uh, a situation to run away from, to be honest. Um, next, uh, another word would be. I didn't make it did in it. Can't. Oh, fuck. Of course, fuck. It's not to be confused with the word frack and fracking. Uh, that's how you make earthquakes in the north of England. Uh, the pumping of water into cracks in the um, geology, forcing them apart, expelling the shale gas, and causing earthquakes. Um, but the people in London that own the companies that do that. Uh, they don't give a fuck, and and that's how fuck is another multi-use term. Um, it can be used as an expression of uh, surprise. Oh fuck! Or it can be used as a fuck, uh, dismay. Uh, it can be used as fucking hell, as. Uh, well, it's just a general purpose. And like um, can't and in it, you can use it just all the time. Fucky hell, in it. Fucky hell, mate. Can. These words flow together. Uh, they are of, on a Venn diagram of words. They're like that. Um, next. Oh, of course, uh, twat. Twat is like can't, uh, a term of endearment or uh, a term of. Ah, 
I'm gonna fucking kill you, twat! Uh, you know, kind of threatening kind of terminology. And so, one, like, be wary. Um, I wouldn't call somebody a twat unless you know them very well and they've already called you a twat. Um, and, like, the most beautiful thing about London English is that you can string these together and make things like that fucking twat he's a cant isn't he mate isn't he and there's a natural rhythm a natural flow and a um a language that is only just opening its doors. Thank you. Stop your cunt. Stop.